it's a very warm welcome to the 2013 Sydney New Year's Eve cultural ambassador Reg Mombasa, who has completely embraced the shimmer theme. You look fantastic. You Thank look you fantastic, Reg. Good well, evening. Good evening and welcome. Mm. So what uh, what role does the creative ambassador have in, in preparing for the big night? I totally control everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I'm just, it's a slightly overblown title. I just do the graphics, actually. I've done the... All the banners that have been around the city and the bridge effect and, and the decorations for the various parties and the Lord Mayor's children's party picnic and stuff like that. When you say uh, you totally control everything, a as an artist, are you able to relinquish control? Or is it easy to give your images over to a project like this? Yeah, I'm kind of used to doing that. I mean, I, I'm not too anal retentive about it and, um, and the imagination that the creative company have been very sort of... Uh, professional and very very diligent in translating my stuff and into um, into all the necessary um, forms that, that are required. Well they've certainly blown it up larger than life and it is all over town but one little extra thing you had to do was be part of a competition in this year. I'm not sure if everyone's aware that but between the 9pm family fireworks and the midnight fireworks display there's an extra display at 10.30 and that, that includes a firework designed by a 14 year old from Gympie. Tiffany Hughes up in Queensland won the competition. She's designed a firework and you have also designed your own personal firework which I cool. believe gives us a look inside your head yeah well I mean it's it's just I mean, it's really just the it's the universe it's the, the, uh, the this the, the section is called uh, cranium universe which is the idea that every human perceives the world inside their own head so it may well be an illusion but uh, for tonight we're emptying one head into the sky <laughs> and so speak and tell us about your firework how did how do you perceive the universe Reg Mombasa um, uh, I perceive it as an extremely terrifying place, <laughs> except for tonight. Tonight's very. Cause tonight's uh, a good a good night. Because fireworks give us that uh, that awe. We look up, we see light, and you know, even if you are a little bit cynical, you still go, oh, right. No, fireworks are always very engaging and engrossing. And yeah, the fireworks are like the universe. It's basically like the the stars and the planets flying about. Let me ask you this: your art has been visible to Australians through the Mambo design and you know through your own artwork uh, exhibited you know nearly three decades now and I know you've been painting and drawing for a lot longer it, it does it kind of give you a sense of pride to see so many of your images now accepted as icons oh yes marvelous I mean it's particularly because um, because the stuff I do is quite small and to see it blown up enormously is is very exciting I'm looking forward to seeing the bridge effect actually because that's fairly large it should be fantastic, but in the artwork you also pay tribute to a chimpanzee in Taronga Zoo who apparently really likes New Year's Eve. Can you explain a bit about that? Yes, yeah, the chimpanzee called Lulu and she's, um, for some reason she just loves fireworks and she loves <laughs> the parties and she seems to <laughs> sense when it's going to happen and she hoards a bit of food, a few bananas and other things that chimps like to eat and takes it up the tree and goes up the tree and watches the fireworks and has a snack and basically parties on like a human. Well, almost like a human. And that's not a bad spot at Taronga Zoo either. No, it's an excellent spot. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty right. of people tonight that would like to be up a tree at Taronga Zoo. <laughs> well, essentially, we're all prim primates and we kind of de-evolve back to primates exactly, on New Year's Eve. Exactly. You? Yourself. <laughs> I'm scarcely more than a monkey myself. So I, I am very much a monkey. In fact, I'll do some grooming later on your reg and just go through your hair. Just to... <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> no yeah, I've, worries. I've got a few fleas. I've got a few choice fleas for you to bite out. Um, you, you aren't only a... Uh, great musician uh, we've seen through you know mental as anything and an artist but you're also an actor i saw you in a movie about a decade ago called strange planet where you played claudia cavan's kind of bum oh, yeah. junkie dad <laughs> is is that normally how you spend new year's eve well I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty bad actor i only ever get cast as drunks or homeless men or junkies so no I'm not, i don't normally spend the, the new year's eve like that what, what do you normally do new year's eve well i'm normally playing a gig actually with, All right. with, with uh with my new band dog trumpet and in the past with mental as anything so i don't normally get to see the fireworks or get about so it's quite unusual for me well this time you've got an absolute front row seat yes <laughs> you right. have yes <laughs> And uh, we've got the 9pm fireworks coming up. So thanks, Reg. We'll see you back here just before midnight when you'll be pressing the big red button. That's right. So Cheers. Will. We can't wait for that. The excitement is palpably...